and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for some Jeskai walkers to start the day off with today. We got another Jeskai control donation deck. Uh, we've played Jess. This is the third day in a row starting off with a Jeskai deck. And um, this time we're going to be focusing on planeswalkers. Okay, get your, get your butt off the screen. <laughs> Um, so yeah, as you can see here, this is this is kind of similar to my Teamer Walkers deck uh, that I've been having a lot of success with that we're also going to be playing later on in Ranked today, where we have Mu Yanling and Narset and Royal Scions. This time we have Teferi instead of Oko, uh, but you know, we still have you know, like a Spark Double to copy them. We still got Sarkin at the top end. This version, you know, Kasmina in here, you know, like, so we have like... Very similar stuff. This version is going to be more controlling, though. So instead of having mana creatures to get those out early, we have more red removal and we got sweepers. We got Deafening Clarion, which is just a really uh, good card in this metagame with a bunch of small creatures, and Oko and Nissa making a bunch of 3 3s. And we got a couple of time wipes up at the top end, also. So we have, you know, so we have sweepers to help protect our planeswalkers. Um, but that's but that's kind of it, you know. It's the same kind of thing though. Just uh, control the board with the planeswalkers, use sweepers to uh, get rid of the creatures and everything, and then finish our opponents off with Sarkin. That's kind of our game plan. Um, sideboard is you know like we got some counter magic over some more counter magic in the sideboard, depending on the matchup. You know like sabotage is just a nice catch all against kind of everything. And then we got Prison Realms. If our opponents are playing a lot of Planeswalkers, we have Planeswalker removal. You know, we can switch out some of these sweepers against creatures and, and play Prison Realms. And then Ashiox, of course, against um, Golos. And even other control matchups, the games can go really long in control mirrors. And so we could have Ashiok there to mill our opponent out as a win condition in the long control mirrors. And Ugin's a nice uh, top end card against mid-range and control also to help end the game a little faster can be removal for like enchantments or anything and um other planeswalkers also of course uh you know good removal for everything and it can also make some tutus for us so let's give us a try of course we got the interplanar beacons over here so we're going to play this in ranked this donation deck was asked to be played in ranked so we're going to do that so let's go play a few matches over in ranked Ah, yep, need Sabotage against Elder Spell. That makes sense, yeah. Elder Spell is not a card we want to see. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it'll be... T yeah, so the Banner Restricted announcement's going to be tomorrow. Um, as far as you said, like, what's what time tomorrow? It's, it's basically always around 8 a.m. Pacific time, which is, like, 11... AM Eastern, my time. It usually kind of starts leaking out a little bit before that, like 10:30, 10, 10. You know, like once it once it's like 10 Eastern, you can start looking for it. But you know, maybe it'll come out 10:30, 11, something like that. You're gonna mulligan this. I don't really like the look of these. I don't really like these scorching dragon fires with this mana here. We'll keep this, but this doesn't really look so great either. Yeah, so if you're central, if you're central, it should be out about 10 o'clock, but it could, you know, but maybe earlier, you know, may maybe releases a little earlier. All right, Clarion doing its thing. If we draw a blue source, you know, we could have like Narset plus Shock. That would be nice. Hey, Blue Jin. We did not.
Meditate and prepare. Hmm. So I prefer to use Time Wipe to get rid of this Spawn of Mayhem. That would be ideal. Needs a rest. So we're down to twelve. All right. Well, I'm glad we got to draw this extra card. Ugh. No land still. Bleh. I, I don't have the mana for Clarion plus Shock. But I guess I'll, I just have to Clarion, I guess. We have 26 lands in the deck, which is, which is good. We've put two to the bottom, one with our Scry, and one with... The Narset minus. We put two spells and two lands at the bottom. So that was really unfortunate. Obviously, I, I wish I would have put the Spark Double down to the bottom and just kept the four lands and two clarion obviously but you know we don't know what we're playing against or anything there all right so i mean i i kind of like our chances in this matchup you know i think our you know having clarion and time wipe are awesome Let's see. I do kind of wish we had we had cheaper removal in the sideboard, or like another time wipe. But I guess it's all in the main. I'm gonna take those two out for two prison realms. I don't really like quench. Take a quench out for another prison realm. I'm gonna try this. Uh, Ted, I, I won't be there. All right, good. We got good mana. We got spells. Good looking hand here. Got a two mana spell. I like it. Yeah, essence scattered would be nice. I mean, there's, <laughs> yeah, there already are a whole lot of good counter spells and everything. But yeah, essence scatter would be really nice to have. That card looks pretty nice. Scorching Dragonfire gets to exile. They don't get it back. It 
It's gone. I hone your control. Hmm. So this is tough. You know, like we're gonna need a land to be able to play this arc in, but I think we'll be able to find another land. <clears throat> I don't think we need to be too worried about that. Hmm. Because I do like Mu Yanling. Do I want the Stormfist Crusader being we, being we both draw a card and lose a life? Is the main question. My students are loyal and brilliant. Played a, a blue green deck with Emery, Vantress Gargoyle, the, the Great Henge, and Ogo. That can be controlled or unleashed. The sky I, is my I don't think I did, player. I don't think I've played a blue green deck with Emery, Vantress Gargoyle, Great Henge, and Ogo. Maybe I did. Maybe a Sultai deck? Like a long time ago? Yeah, that that's my that's my plans was to have this for double white. That's my plan there. Yeah, if it was like four or five days ago, definitely not. Yeah, if it was like four or five days ago, that was definitely not me. That was somebody else. I train every day. I have just the trick for this. A viewer tournament? Um, yeah, I've definitely thought about it. I haven't, but I do the... I do right now. I basically what I do for uh, you know viewers playing is the sub battle stream that we do the last Saturday of every month. Um, but no, I, I've never put together any kind of like viewer tournament. Well, that hand was really good for us. You know, being on the play, we had really good mana. We had you know like the scorching dragon fires were awesome. Um, yeah, we can't really ask for anything better. We'll see what happens here for game at number three. Uh, it's the problem with everything being three mana <laughs> and our, our sideboard removal being three mana also. I mulligan this last time. I'm going to try keeping it this time. Or a 26 land deck on the draw. There we go, good draw. So if they have the 4-4, four four, we'll Prison Realm it. If they just play some more creatures, we'll go Clarion.
I guess I should have played Plains last turn, because now I have to play Plains to go Clarion, but I want to play Temple. It's either Kasmina or Prison Realm. Our two cards that we had two of. Maybe I should have spent Prison Realm. Champion of my rise. I've got time. Yeah, drill bit's just awesome. Well, I wish I knew I had that on top because, you know, like we would have drawn it with Crusader upkeep. Hey, DK. Thank you so much. Trust me, I have a plan. Basically, can I play Sarkin? Do you first come to me? I try playing Sarkin. Uh, it's, they may not have removal in hand, but yeah, they they definitely could. I think, I think they may have like another order of midnight. Mm. Listen to the uh, watch that dragon would rather die than lose. Cast in the car. Hey, JRC. I have practiced against many things. Hone your prowess. Yeah, it didn't, um... Didn't work out for us too well there. With this, uh, this Arkham play. Unfortunately. So they got four in hand plus the murderous riders. They basically got, so they have five cards. We're at three. Order of midnight is so good. Getting more order of midnights back. That's so good. Put 
thoughtfulness before action. Under my instruction, you will steal. Every day is a new lesson. I mean, I guess I kind of need to, like, prison realm these Order of Midnights. Still like our chances. <clears throat> Especially finding another Sarkin. I think my opponent would commit to this much to the battlefield. Focus on what matters. Yeah, I can attack first. That's a pretty easy block for them, though. Okay, so if I play Sarkin or Ral, if you wish to surrender now, I must keep an open mind. I don't, I don't have the mana for Prison Realm and Rao Minus. Like, you know, like that was... I don't, I don't have the mana for that. That would have been ideal. To take out the two things. But like, basically, I, I don't want Rao... You know, I, I could have played Rao Minus, but I don't want Rao to die. So we're going this route. Of, like, maybe Narset would have found Clarion. I was one away. Yep, we got lots of removal. We good. Some members I was not prepared for this. I hope they don't have Order of Midnight. Because Order of Midnight gets back in Order of Midnight that gets back in Order of Midnight. All right, good. Not order midnight. I've flown on. Ooh, let's see what we got. Well, you're not doing anything, Quench. That's unfortunate. Peace. I'm out. Could have like led led with Sarkin if their last card was Murderous Rider. Could have led with Sarkin first.
That's a good draw. Uh, that was a really good draw. I could upkeep castle. I'm glad I didn't. If you show remorse, I'll I will call right. the dragons. That's more like it. Feel the heat of my flip. Your end has arrived. All right, the good old Teferi Bouncer Sarkin. Make a new Drago. This Mardu deck definitely seems to be getting a lot more popular. We were playing against it a lot yesterday, and Jeskai It does make Jeskai in a lot better position, because you know Clarion is just awesome in this matchup. Um, that'd be my assumption is that this this knight's deck was one of the ones at the Mythic Championship. Yeah, that's my assumption. I think the one I was looking at last night, I don't remember exactly, but I think the one that made top eight had Rotting Regisaur in it. I could be wrong there though. Thanks, Bloney Pony. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet play. We got a pack. Crack it open. Just a rare. Get those twenty gems. All right, Mastery, looks like we get a Frogify. It's Sunday, so Sunday we get to, you know, level up with all the all the ranking up or whatever, what it, leveling up, I don't know, Mastery level up. And Gadwick, Gadwick's cool. So I went with the blue one next because I want to get this Royal Scions. So I need two more of these things. So when am I getting my next two? So that was level 30. What level are y'all at? Are y'all like level 30? Let's see. Uh, 35 for one. Ugh. Gotta wait till 39 until we get Royal Scions. That's probably a long ways away. Okay, I was correct. Yeah. All right, we're one to know. Oh, whoops! I accidentally clicked the wrong button. Left the uh, the chat room page, but I'm back now. You're on twenty eight. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've played every single day, you know, and so hoping 30 is like, you know, I, ha I haven't bought any levels this time. I bought levels last time, but then, you know, it turned out that at first, like, we thought that you, we were going to have to buy levels to be able to have enough. Well, if they have turn two Oko, I'm dead. That's just how it is. GG. Every tale about me is absolute. Welcome to the feast. Oh, right. I think I was going to play Tapped. I was going to play that and then Dragonfire this goose, but oh well.
<clears throat> yeah, mobile now. Yeah, iOS now lets you sub on on mobile now. That's something new. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Um, yeah. So every day you get twenty five experience for a win, like for like the daily wins now. That's something new. I don't know when that exactly takes into takes into effect. We better hope you delay our quest no further. My answers lie in the cold truth. We need white mana. Weston, with that sub time. Thank you so much there, Weston. I appreciate that. That's our second sub of the day. Your new look is enchanting. Fear triumphs this day. White mana. Okay, white mana. And it's still like me taking like nine here. Getting a haste 3 3 every single turn. It's difficult to beat even with Clarion. Let's broaden your existence. All right, so this is lethal. Right, like, let's see. I could. Because, I mean, I, I can't kill this questing beast. Like, I have to Clarion and Dragonfire to kill this questing beast. If I... So if I just Dragonfire right now, we take 10 and go to 5, and then I Shock and Clarion, and then we still, we're still dead. Didn't expect this deck to do well in this matchup. No Simic food in your FNM meta. Gotcha. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is the most popular deck in ranked though. Uh, so this is kind of rough playing it in ranked against. This is easily the most popular deck in ranked right now. I could the last few days. This, I haven't really been seeing Field of the Dead. I've just been playing against Oko all the time. All right, so I guess all we got all we got are Prison Realms. So that's our that's our plan. We gotta have a plan. Sabotage is not the worst plan either. Let's see. If we take those. Hmm. All right, so this is our plan. We're going to play three of the sabotages. Yeah, everything costs three, but that's just how life is. <laughs> gotcha.
Yeah, maybe maybe the maybe your local metagame may change, but you know, for now that is pretty nice. Is it possible to counter chance for glory's game ending effect with a tail's end? No. No, it's just it's just a, a loss. Um I think, right? Is it? Can you? Does it just trigger? I don't think it's like a triggered ability. Which is what it would need to be for you to counter it. I, I should have led with, with Beacon here to gain a life. I'm known for my you think it is a trigger? Fight. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, so you can? Okay. Alright, it is a triggered ability. And you can. So that's pretty cool. I've got it. I was certainly hoping they're going to, go, going to be going for this wicked wolf, where we could have like the Clarion and not questing beast. It looks like questing beast is a card that our deck is just going to really, really struggle against. Time for Plan B. As soon as I think of one. Yes, Questing Beast and Noko. These are two cards that we don't really have answers to. And that's not a not a very good spot to be in this metagame. <clears throat> but we're doing okay right now. Hopefully not another one. Never mind, we're dead. Worst defeat. I could have played around that. That was just bad. That's my fault. I could have played around that. Basically, I can't I can't afford to upkeep castle because then I only have two mana. I only have. And we need to draw like Sarkin. No. All right, let's play against more aggro like Mardu and less Simic food. Because, yeah, I, I agree with you, Kendis, that that's not, um, that's not one that I, th I think we're going to be winning at all ever. So hopefully we don't play against that anymore. But our Mardu matchup looked awesome.
Yeah, Tails End, Tails End can do a lot. A lot of things it can do. Yeah, you can even count, you know, like, Royal, like with everybody playing Royal Scions. Narset's good, but I think that I want something besides a three mana walker. We already got those. Um, yeah, like Royal Scions Ultimate. Counter that with Tails End. You can counter the Rankle Trigger that was going to make you discard a card. So you don't have to discard one. <laughs> Even though it's just discarding the Tails End. Keeping your opponent from discarding. So I'm either going to Fairy or Mu Yanling next turn. One of those two, depending on what happens here. Yeah, you can just counter Wrinkle, I suppose, too. Like Witch's Oven, they sack their cat to get a food, and you counter that so they don't get the food. They, they can't bring their cat back. We played a couple of Tales End in in the mono blue deck that we played the other day. Now I was very happy with it there. I was just really impressed by that mono blue deck deck in general. So I play the Teferi to, to draw you know, basically Teferi draws another card, digs us faster to get towards Deafening Clarion, because obviously all we gotta do is get to, get to Clarion here. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. Do not challenge a raging river. Yeah, yeah yesterday today with Mardu, Mardu Knights have been pretty popular. It's gonna hurt.
Hey, space. All right, well, it's all going to be about Clarion. Going to have to draw these Clarions. Quench is just really bad. It's not going to counter stuff. I'm just going to kind of take it out. I, like, it does feel weird replacing Quench with a six drop here, but I feel like Ugin is necessary to take out these equipments. You know, like Ugin destroying a number cleave, or that the knight one. Like that knight equipment is really strong, given the creature is plus two plus two for equip one. My card is really strong. Yeah, and Ugin can make blockers and everything too. I wish I had like Sabotage instead of this Quench, but I don't think we can just add another three. I don't think Quench is going to counter anything, but we just got one of them in here. Maybe it will. Maybe we can get something with it. So I want to lead with the Temple of Triumph because Triumph casts Clarion. You know, like either half does. Yeah, against... Yeah, I mean, it kind of depends on how, how late the game goes and everything, but Embercleave is a... That is a, a mana-intensive card, so, like, maybe we could counter that card. That could happen. I think I'd rather play Narset on this turn. No. I lead the way, but my brother knows mm, a quest of mystery. Enjoy the proper application of knowledge. So I went to their upkeep, so they had to discard a card. At least this is two for two, even though we're trading with the worst card in their hand, an extra land. <laughs> I know. I I really I've been really missing. Um, that hurts. I've been really missing not having Oko and having these white cards instead of Oko. Not being able to turn Questing Beast or Riding Regisaur into el Elks. Like these these creatures, Questing Beast, Riding Regisaur, 
These have been really difficult to deal with. Looking for prison realm. Let me synthesize the facts. Nope, no prison realm there. So obviously I'm hoping they cannot kill my 4-4 and we get to chump block with the 4-4 and we get to ultimate Royal Scions. That's, I mean, that's, this is what the game is, is if my opponent keeps me from ultimating Royal Scions, they're likely going to win this. If we get to ultimate Royal Scions, we're likely going to win this. Yeah, this, I mean, the, yeah, obviously they have any removal at all, they're probably going to win. Because, yep. <clears throat> That's removal. I guess they do have to attack Royal Scions, and Royal Scions doesn't die right here. So I guess that's good that we have eight attacking back with Sarkin. They don't really have a choice. Like they can't. Like, they're gonna attack me. Attack Sarkin. I will consume you. Oh, get away from me. Do ten. Yeah, we could gain life with Clarion, but I think that's. That's kind of unnecessary. So, you know, I could even do 10 damage with Royal Scions doing the extra two. Enjoy the proper application of knowledge. It's good. It's good. I summon you. Okay, we got to kill Regisaur. All right. I feel like on the draw, I should have more Quenchin. On the draw, three mana is going to be a little slower. We're going to take out Narset for a quench. Considering taking out a Mu Yanling or the Rao for the third quench. Quench is a, a card that could counter Regisaur on my turn two. Yeah, yeah, I said Narset will also be will often be gain three life draw card, but it's I mean it's also look at the top four cards and take take one of them and gain three life like that's that's a lot of cards to look through and so you know it can help it helps dig for the specific answers that we need and that's that's what's kind of like this deck like we're going to need specific answers for different threats and stuff like you know like we're going to need to have clarion at points or time wipe or prison realm stuff like that and uh that's what narset can do is is help us find those cards The 
but we already have cars that dig. Yeah, I, I want to keep Ugin in that can get rid of the equipment and also make blockers. I'm going to shock now before they get equipment and everything. I'm going to shock this Knight of the Ebon Legion right now. Before they can, you know, like attack Ember Cleave. All that kind of stuff. I don't know. And, you know, like they have the pump ability up. Well, that's obviously a problem. Okay, not let them have the two creatures to attack with with Ember Cleave. Obviously, if they kill my 2 2, you know, obviously, if they Ember Cleave, I die. If they kill my 2 2. <clears throat> Uh, I guess they had multiple Ember Cleaves. That'd be the only the only reason to discard Ember Cleave is you have another. So that's unfortunate. So our deck really, really struggles against large creatures. I don't like that. I don't really, let's see, I'm not really sure exactly what to do about that. But creatures bigger than three toughness because our removal is Clarion, Dragonfire, and Shock. We just can't deal with Questing Beast or Rotting Regisaur at all. You know, we have like the two time wipes, that's it. I think I wouldn't mind seeing more time wipes, at least in the sideboard. Yeah, Glass Casket could be a good card. It doesn't doesn't get rid of questing beast though. You need like removal for questing beast. I like justice strike is the card I think. Yeah, I think I think the card's justice strike. Instant speed gets rid of questing beast gets rid of larger creatures. I think that's the card. Quench, Ral, Shock, Chandra, Sarkin. 
It's got to be Rowler Sarkin. Do Sarkin. Doesn't kill Torbran. That's fine. I think that's fine. I haven't really thought about Naya Feather too much, honestly. No, we haven't. We just haven't seen that deck come back after not having. Um. The one spell it doesn't have. I really don't want my opponent to Questing Beast. Which is why I wanted to keep... Why I wanted to keep Quench available. I am not going to sit this way. I'll protect you. Looks like playing Chandra just ends up being really bad. But obviously we gotta play stuff. We can't sit back and not play anything. Alright, we're gonna need to find another red mana. I'm gonna play the Chandra here looking for red mana. That's a land. But yeah, I need I need a Clarion plus shock to kill the to kill the beast here. Red mana. Oh, red mana. Sit back and watch it burn. Ugh. I don't have any spells over here, right? Yeah. Alright, so unfortunately they get to kill Chandra. But that means that Mu Yanling doesn't take any damage. From the beast, and so Mu Yanling can minus and make a 4 4 that could block. And then at that point, you know, if I can make a 4 4 that can block the beast, then I can also just pass and like ha keep, you know, I don't have to play anything else. I can keep like both quenching, both quenches up to be able to protect my 4 4. Never mind. Don't 
Don't get me involved. Whatever. Figure it out on your own. Do not assume I am fragile. Draw a circuit. Hey, Kiku. I can't really find a line that helps us too much. I mean, I guess I guess we're just going to Clarion. The sky is my domain. Clarion and shock that thing. is crystallizing. Okay, another Clarion's good. Holding Quench up, you know, would have been able to counter a Krasis. But they have so much mana. Yeah, I could have held up Quench instead of playing Royal Scions, but they have so much mana. Rise, my elemental friend. That that's like all it's doing. I just want to cycle it away Stop. instead. Sorry. Teferi would be really nice giving us instant speed. Hmm. What is my strategy here? That is really nice. I can no longer stand by and watch. No, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out why they shocked that land in also. I was thinking like maybe another Ether Gust or something and you know, so I was trying to think of like what I was gonna do around like an Ether Gust, but My answers lie in the cold truth. Well, this went, this went really, really well for us. Couldn't go better. This might be a bad idea. This couldn't go better. Behold, nature's true power. No crisis over there. Yeah, I was going to be able to dragon fire that. Wow. I did not think we were really winning that. All right, let's get Disdainful Stroke. Prison Realm. Sabotage. Ugin. Take out Spark Double, Kasmina, Quench, Shock. Um, and then I'm taking out a three mana card here. Which three mana card? A Moo. Okay. Got game one.
the goose. The bad part about playing Temple is it's, it's difficult to have Sinister Sabotage on turn three with playing Temple. The good part is we got to put a fifth land down to the bottom that we don't really need to draw right now. Yeah, we gotta find Prison Realm. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Yeah, of course, we gotta have Disdainful Stroke here if our opponent plays Questing Beast. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Kind of amazing how little all of these cards in our hand do right now. We could play Teferi, bounce the 3-3, then just play another 3-3, kill Teferi, and then we don't have counter, counter magic available. So obviously the Goose is making a food token. Hey, Fox. Or Forks, I should say. Your new look is enchanting. So, I mean, I guess Quench, now on the play, Quench can be something to try to stop a turn two Oko. And Shock, of course, is good against the Goose. That's the only thing Shock does, is kill a Goose. And that's the only thing Quench does, is have be a counter spell on turn two. Just so narrow. But those cards do stop turn two Oko. Maybe time wipe? No, I'm going to take the prison realm. So we have, you know, they likely play a planeswalker here. Savvy hunter. I have just the trick for this. Savvy Hunter is kind of not very good. I 
The big problem is Questing Beast. You know, like, I want to hold up Disdainful Stroke here for Questing Beast. Questing beast is the problem. Such violence is upsetting. You know, hopefully we draw a land and I can just play Royal Scions and keep Disdainful Stroke available. They definitely have Veil of Summer. Definitely have another one with how they cycled away the other one. So, yeah, I was I was thinking about that. I was wondering why... It's like, why does Veil of Summer draw a card? It's already really efficient. It's one mana and counters a spell. And like, why doesn't, like, Aether Gust draw a card? Why doesn't... Why doesn't any of the other ones draw cards? Well, I guess I can't time wipe, can I? You know, none of those other hate cards draw a card. Why does Veil Summer? I am always ready. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. It's the narrowest? Let's slow this down. No, I am not making this up as I go. It's the narrowest. I guess that's true. But I already. It already trades with the spell. Like it does a, a better job trading than what Ether Gust does. It's one mana. Only time will tell. Because like one mana draw card is a perfectly reasonable card. I feel like it needs to be at least, you know, at least two or three mana if it says draw a card on it. One mana is kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the risk really is with the card. I, I don't have any ban yeah so about the tomorrow's announcement what what do I expect to happen I, I don't really have any expectation I, I don't know I could see so many different things happening and so I, I don't really have an an expectation honestly I like this fabled passage that's a good card because we have we have some stuff down at the bottom that we put down here that I wouldn't mind drawing um Let me synthesize the facts. The problem is we have to discard something here. 
And I kind of feel like that's maybe Sarkin. I don't think I discard Time Wipe, and I'm going to Dragon Fire to kill this Hunter. Teferi stops their Veil of Summer. Discarding Sarkin is kind of weird. Oh my gosh, I don't have another Plains. Oh my gosh, I don't have another Plains. This Fable Passage just does nothing for me. Uh, I was thinking just get my other White Source. Uh, I definitely should have just not had this. Uh, should have definitely just not... Uh, that was just a complete waste. Give me my Sarkin back. Take, get rid of this Fable Passage. Give me my Sarkin back. Oh, I was thinking that was a white source. It's not. Well, how is that... Layer? You said the risk is because you're playing best of one. You put Veil in the deck. How is that any different from... You know, all the the rest of the cycle. From Fry, Aether Gust, Devout Decree. Um... What's the other one? Noxious Grasp. Like those are all the, the same way. Why why does why does the cheapest one out of those draw a card? Like they're all pretty similar of what they do. Why does the cheap one draw a card? Why does one that's one mana draw a card and all the ones that are two mana don't draw cards? I will protect the virtue of this world. The land shall conquer you. I love a good fight. That was a big mistake by me to do the island thing. Be a bad idea. I enjoyed the proper application of knowledge. So by itself, Veil does not affect the board, so Watsi decided to give it a secondary effect that provides some additional value. Well, by some additional value means completely replaces itself. That's a that's a lot of additional value. Be wary of the ground you walk on. <clears throat> now what? It really didn't need to cost one mana for everything it does. Having having the draw card makes it better than all of the two mana effects. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. I think a little merriment is in order. Well, obviously it's conditional that draws a card. It's it's for those matchups. All the all the that whole cycle is all conditional. A quest of mystery. None of the cards do anything if you're not playing against those colors. The whole cycle is conditional. It's like that's not. That's not a point for or against it. They're all conditional. All right, well, there's Just Guy Walkers. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of holes here with this deck. So 
Like this deck, you know, like what we have here, you know, like our deck's gonna really struggle against those Simic matchups, as as we saw. Those ones were were really tough. Um, but you know, the person that made this deck said they don't that their local metagame doesn't have any um, any Simic Oko decks. So that could definitely make this a better chance, you know, better call then. Uh, we struggled with large creatures um, and everything. We, I think that for Jeskai, I, I really like the counter spells. Um, we played like the Jeskai, the Jeskai control that we played yesterday had you know a lot of counter spells and sweepers and stuff like that. And I think that's a lot better place to be playing Jeskai. So if I was, if I, you know, if if you're a fan of Jeskai, you want to play some Jeskai, I'd recommend checking out like the Jeskai control from yesterday. I think that's going to be um, a lot more effective in this. Simic metagame with with all the Simic decks. Like the deck yesterday had four Mystical Disputes in the main, and I think that's where we got to be. Um, with this deck, though, um, I think I think it could really use like I w I wouldn't play less than four time wipes in this deck. I think there needs to be four time wipes. Maybe if you know, maybe it's just three in the main, one in the board. That's fine, but I think there needs to be four in the seventy five. Um, because we got to have ways to deal with bigger creatures, you know, not like the teamer version of this deck, you get Oko, Oko turns big creatures into three threes, it, you know, like big creatures, you don't have to really worry about too much when you're playing a whole bunch of Okos. Teferi can bounce them for a turn, but then, you know, like a questing beast just comes right back. You know, like questing beast, if you look at just, it's just too difficult to deal with with this deck. Um, and then... And then, yeah, just, like, permanence on the board. You know, like, we have, like, the four prison realms in the sideboard, but honestly, that should be a main deck card. We have to be able... We can't just have game one where you can't deal with a Planeswalker at all. You have, like, the three Sarkins that could attack a Planeswalker if you have your other Planeswalkers in play, too. That's just... That's not enough. There's so many Planeswalkers running around these days. Um, I think with this kind of deck, I think Quenches should be Dovin's Vetoes or Negates. I guess negate's easier to cast, so probably just negate because it's easier to cast. I think because this deck's already going to, like, we got a lot of, like, cheap removal for cheap creatures, so I don't think this deck needs to counter a creature on turn two. I think this this deck needs negates, though. Negates can, like, protect from, you know, can you can use negates, like, later on, like, on five mana. You can play one of these Planeswalkers and have negate available to counter, like, their murderous rider that they've been holding in their hand for the, the whole game. Um... And so, so like that's so I think that'd be a better option than than Quench is getting negate in here, um, and then yeah, this this doesn't kill any planeswalkers. Like it, this used to, like three damage used to kill planeswalkers, whenever everybody was playing Teferi and Narset, kill those. But this doesn't like three damage does nothing against Oko. Like the the real planeswalkers are Oko and Nissa. Like those are the planeswalkers, and scorching scorching dragonfire does nothing against Oko and Nissa. Um, so yeah, that doesn't that doesn't work. I I do I would say that I was happy with with dragonfire at having instant speed. That was nice. Um, you know, we got to you know deal with some haste creatures like from Nissa or Oko with that. That was that was pretty nice. Or or um, and everything, but still maybe lava coil is better because lava coil kills questing beast. So. Maybe you need Dragonfire, or maybe you need Lava Coil for that, but if you're not really facing Questing Beast, you don't need that. Um, I know, Fry doesn't kill Oko either. I could see this deck playing Spyglass in the sideboard for Oko. Also, that's a possibility, but probably won't Prison Realm in the main. The four drops weren't very impressive. Mu Yanling wasn't very impressive. But obviously, you want a lot of Planeswalkers or Sarkins. But if we're looking at like cards to cut, those are the those are the ones that weren't very impressive. Rao was pretty good. I liked Rao. Um, <laughs> yeah, Justice Strike. Justice Strike's pretty nice. I I think Justice Strike could be like as long as the mana works for Justice Strike. Our mana like ended up being really annoying how little we could cast our spells these interplanar beacons interplanar beacons like a really good card and it's really good with all the planeswalkers and the life gain is awesome but it was just like we just had it you know like we only played four matches of course so like we you know like that's not that's not a very big sample we just had like a lot of um unfortunate things happen like with our mana with those with those four matches 
Um, I could see play, having just a more, maybe a couple more dual lands, like, you know, having like a fourth Hallowed Fountain in here, maybe a third Temple of Triumph, you know, going with some more dual lands to help with that. But I would like, <laughs> we, we either had like games, I mean, it was just, you know, it was just kind of like a small sample thing that happened. You know, like we would have games with like a bunch of interplayer beacons and not enough different colored sources, or we had a couple of games against like an aggro deck where we just had all of our shock lands. And so we had to keep shocking every turn and we just took too much damage. That's kind of just what happened there. Um, but anyway, there we go. That's Jeskai Walkers. Um, yeah, so there we go. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hit the please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave some comments uh, about the decks over here. What do you think is gonna happen or I guess, what do you want to happen tomorrow for the BNR update? Um, or, of course, you know, you can say, what, what do you think is going to happen? You can have your prediction over there on YouTube. So it's down the day before. Um, yes, restricting cards in standard basically doesn't happen. Restricting is, is kind of like for vintage and stuff. Hey, what's up, Storm? Um, yeah, restricting basically doesn't happen. All right, also mention the Patreon, uh, $3 a month. It's patreon.com slash ToddStevensMTG. You can find the link down below. Also, if you enjoy my content, consider hitting the, uh, consider joining the Patreon community over there. I would appreciate that. But that's it here for Jeskai Walkers. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.